Why are pirates pirates? Because they are. Well, welcome back, guys. It's Raw Geek here. Sorry, I've not done a video for so long. Been busy. Uh, I wanted to play the quarry, but the price was just kind of crazy, and it's still quite expensive and it's too hot at the moment to play a game on the PC here and record it because really I've got to have like the windows closed and stuff so there's not, not, not too much sound and that kind of thing and it's a bit hot to be doing that at the moment so I'll probably do that I might even leave that for, for October Halloween or I might just do it soon I'm not sure but yeah sorry I've been able so I thought I'd do a quick uh, video uh, a reaction to a game a game trailer because games have trailers now we know that so yeah now this game is called Skull and Bones and it's from Ubisoft and this is a still from it but there's a trailer like I just said so let's watch the trailer and see what it looks like. So this is Skull and Bones official trailer play! Ubisoft! Come on do something good. Society has rules. Hygiene. It decides where you belong. And what you're worth. But you. You can chart a new course. Uh, I'm part of this ship. <laughs> well, I want to see some gameplay. Is it going to be in a gameplay? Seems a certainty. Do not give up. On the shores of a new world, you awaken. Nice. Shipwreck. Uh oh. Sharks More out there. Than ever to carve a life of your choice. Fighting under our own flag, we will take what's ours. Surely it's theirs. Together, we will take on the world. Society may have rules. But today, you decide where you belong and what you're worth. I've been a pirate. It's the pirate life for me. Now choose. Will you live as pawns or die as pirates? Definitely the latter, all day long. Come get some. There's no gameplay. Oh, it's a gameplay overview. Oh, it's seven minutes long. Ah, so there's some Welcome actual gameplay footage. I'm not going to watch the whole Our thing because she's going to talk over the it. Golden age of uh, let's just go along. Provision for your expeditions at sea. Pick up contracts and socialize with other players. <laughs> Any pirate worth their salt will tell you that preparation is key to success. So it's open world, is it? Get ready for any challenges that come your way by checking that your cargo is stocked with items like food and ammunition. Once you're set, it's time to head out and explore. Okay. That's as a rookie cool. pirate, you'll only have access to a small dhow. But as you progress, you'll be able to craft bigger ship. ships. Each with their own unique playstyle to the depths. Getting in so close fighting to execute ones. a boarding maneuver will help maximize your gains. But beware, you can turn from predator to prey in a heartbeat if you attract the unwanted attention of privateers, mm -hmm. the merciless pirate hunters that patrol the seas. If you enjoy the thrill of the hunt, you can also seek out other players and rain terror on them. 
Such PvP battles are high stakes activities nice. that can be rewarding yeah. if you emerge victorious. Let's do it. Let's take on other people. Beat, the, beat them. Take the ships down. From your spoils of battle, personalize your individual look. Okay, with fine. No, that kind of stuff. Well, okay, we get the idea. Okay, so the trailer is pretty good. It's quite cinematic, good graphics, but it was very much a trailer as though it's a movie, you know, so it wasn't any gameplay footage. Checked out a little bit of it there from that gameplay, gameplay overview, so if you want to look at it more, it's like eight minutes long. But essentially it looks like open world. You you start with a small boat, you can upgrade it, you've got to make sure you've got the right provisions, that kind of stuff, sail around, there's privateers after you, you can also fight with other pirates, and the graphics look amazing by the looks of it, uh, so this could be quite a big open world game. This could be the pirate game we've been waiting for after Microsoft's awful one which was extremely boring. So it says here, after suffering development hell for a few years, Skull and Bones, Ubisoft live service pirate game has finally seen the light of day. Here's some new footage. It's been a long time coming, it was first introduced at E3 2017 before getting buried in all kinds of development issues including the probe into Ubisoft's Singapore studio regarding allegations of pay discrepancy and sexual harassment. Oh god. <laughs> uh, earlier this year leaked footage of Skull and Bones to the internet. Yeah. And yeah, okay, and it's coming November 8th. It's on Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Uh, I didn't really mount much of it. And uh, November 8th is when it comes out, and it looks good. I mean, I want to see some more gameplay, but I'm not going to do that all in one video now. But yeah, looks alright. With these kinds of games, you need to be able to invest some time. So if you're just looking for like a story game, eight hours long or whatever, that's one thing. This is something entirely different. This is a game you'd sink hours into playing online and that kind of stuff. So, if that's for you, check it out. Like I say, I want to play The Quarry. I want to do a playthrough of that. I guess that's about 10 to 12 hours long. It's like 50 quid, even from CD Keys. I think it's like 65 quid or something, or 60 quid or something like that on Steam. Which is a lot of money for a story game. You know, that's the kind of money you expect to pay for Skull and Bones because. You could spend 30 to 100 to 300 hours in it, if you know, however long you want to play, kind of thing. Whereas a story game, there's not much replayability. Yes, you might want to do some different choices, see if you can save other people, that kind of stuff. So there's some replayability, but in general, you know, it's, it's a one shot. You, you do the story and, and that's it. So it's kind of like money just for how long it is. Um, but I, w I will get round to it. But like I say, I might, I might play it around Halloween time. I don't know. I'll see. Anyway, hope you're doing all good. Uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, quick video, just chatting about pirates and stuff. And that about it for some. So, guys, if you like that, please click like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next video. And until then, did you know what the sea said to the pirate? Nothing. He just waved. Okay, bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.